Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have discussed the section multiplication. We have learned root x into root y equal to root of xy for any positive numbers x and y. There was a homework. Let us check the answer at first. Of four equal equilateral triangles, two cut vertically into halves and two whole are put together to make a rectangle. If a side of the equilateral triangle is 1 meter, what is the area and the perimeter of the rectangle? There are four equal equilateral triangles. These two triangles are placed here and these two triangles are cut into halves and placed like this. These triangles are placed here and we have got a rectangle. We have to find the area and perimeter of this rectangle. Let us take the rectangle at first. Let us give a name for it. Let us give a name for this point also. Given that the sides of the equilateral triangle are 1 meter. So this is one side of the equilateral triangle that is 1 meter. This is also 1 meter. This is also 1 meter as they are all sides of this equilateral triangle. Similarly, let us mark the sides of this equilateral triangle. This is 1 meter, this is also 1 meter and this is also 1 meter. We need to find the perimeter and area of this rectangle. For that we need length and breadth of this rectangle. Breadth of this rectangle is 1 meter. Now we have to find the length of this rectangle. For that let us look at triangle ABC. AB is 1 meter. What is AC? AP is 1 meter and PC is 1 meter. Therefore, AC is 1 plus 1 or 2 meters. So, in this triangle ABC, the hypotenuse and altitude is given. We can find the base. That is BC equal to root of AC square minus AB square. AC is 2 and AB is 1. So, this can be written as root of 2 square minus 1 square. 2 square is 4 and 1 square is 1. So, this can be written as root of 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. Therefore, this can be written as root 3. That is length of BC is root 3 meters. Or the length of this rectangle is root 3 meters. Now, let us find the perimeter of this rectangle. Perimeter is 2 times length plus breadth. Here length is root 3 and breadth is 1. So, this can be written as 2 into root 3 plus 1. Therefore, the perimeter of this rectangle is 2 into root 3 plus 1 meters. Now, to get the approximate value, let us give the approximate value of root 3 here. That is, the perimeter is approximately equal to 2 into 1.732 plus 1. 1.732 plus 1 is 2.732. Therefore, this is equal to 2 into 2.732. Multiplying, we get 5.464 meters. That means the perimeter of this rectangle is approximately equal to 5.464 meters. Now, let us find the area of this rectangle. Area of a rectangle is length into breadth. Here, length is root 3 meters and breadth is 1 meter. Therefore, area is root 3 into 1 square meters. Root 3 into 1 is root 3. Therefore, the area of this rectangle is root 3 square meters. Now, to get the approximate value, let us give the approximate value of root 3 here. The area is approximately equal to 1.732 square meters. Now, let us do the remaining problems on page 57 and 58. A square and an equilateral triangle of sides twice as long are cut and the pieces are rearranged to form a trapezium as shown below. If a side of the square is 2 cm, what are the perimeter and area of this trapezium? This is a square and its side is 2 cm. This is an equilateral triangle and the length of the sides are twice the length of the sides of the square. And they are rearranged to form this trapezium. These two triangles are placed here. And one triangle from this square is placed here, other is placed here. We have to find the perimeter and area of this trapezium. 
Let us take the trapezium at first. Let us give a name for it. Let us give name for these two points also. Now this is our square and the sides are 2 centimeters. And it is divided into two triangles. One triangle is placed here. So this is 2 centimeter and this is also 2 centimeter. The other triangle is placed here. So this is 2 centimeter and this is also 2 centimeter. Now APB is a right angle triangle. The base is 2 centimeters, height is 2 centimeters. We can find AB. We know hypotenuse equal to root of base square plus altitude square. Therefore, AB equal to root of AP square plus PB square. AP is 2, PB is also 2. So, this can be written as root of 2 square plus 2 square. 2 square is 4. So, this can be written as root of 4 plus 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. So, this can be written as root 8. 8 is equal to 4 into 2. Therefore, root 8 equal to root of 4 into 2. And that is equal to root 4 into root 2. Root 4 is 2. So, this can be written as 2 root 2. Or you can see that 8 equal to 2 into 2 into 2. That means root 8 equal to root of 2 into 2 into 2. For 2 2's you can take 1 2 outside. And 1 2 remains inside the root. Anyway, the length of AB is 2 root 2 centimeters. AB and CD are equal because they are equal triangles. Their sides are equal. Therefore, CD is also equal to 2 root 2 centimeters. Now, let us take our equilateral triangle. Given that length of the sides of the equilateral triangle are 2 times the length of the sides of the square. Therefore, the sides of the equilateral triangle are 4 centimeters. Now, this triangle is placed here. This is the hypotenuse of this triangle. Therefore, PD is 4 cm. Now, in this triangle PQD, the hypotenuse is given, the altitude is also given, we can find the base. Therefore, PQ equal to root of PD square minus QD square. PD is 4 and QD is 2. Therefore, this can be written as root of 4 square minus 2 square. 4 square is 16 and 2 square is 4. So, this can be written as root of 16 minus 4. 16 minus 4 is 12. So, this can be written as root of 12. 12 is equal to 4 into 3. Therefore, root 12 is equal to root of 4 into 3. And that can be written as root 4 into root 3. But root 4 is 2. So, that can be written as 2 into root 3 or 2 root 3. That means, length of PQ is 2 root 3 centimeters. PQ and AD are equal. Therefore, AD is also 2 root 3 centimeters. Now, let us find the perimeter of the trapezium. Perimeter of the trapezium means sum of all the four sides. Let us look at the side BC. That is equal to 2 plus 2 root 3 plus 2. And this side is 2 root 2 centimeters. This is 2 root 3 centimeters. And this is 2 root 2 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter is equal to 2 plus 2 root 3 plus 2 plus 2 root 2 plus 2 root 3 plus 2 root 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. 2 root 2 plus 2 root 2 is 4 root 2. 2 root 3 plus 2 root 3 is 4 root 3. So, this can be written as 4 plus 4 root 2 plus 4 root 3. 4 is 4 into 1. 4 root 2 is 4 into root 2. 4 root 3 is 4 into root 3. 4 is a common factor. Taking 4 outside, we can write 4 into 1 plus root 2 plus root 3. Therefore, the perimeter of this trapezium is 4 into 1 plus root 2 plus root 3 centimeters. If you need the approximate value, you can give the approximate values of root 2 and root 3. Now, we have to find the area of this trapezium. Area of a trapezium is half h into a plus b. A and B are length of the parallel sides, that is length of AD and BC. H is the distance between them, that is AP or QD. So, you can see here H is 2 centimeters, A is 2 root 3 centimeters. What is B? 2 plus 2 root 3 plus 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. So, that is equal to 4 plus 2 root 3. 
that is h is 2 centimeters a is 2 root 3 centimeters and b is 4 plus 2 root 3 centimeters replacing the values we get half into 2 into 2 root 3 plus 4 plus 2 root 3 half into 2 is 1 1 into 2 root 3 plus 4 plus 2 root 3 is 2 root 3 plus 4 plus 2 root 3 now 2 root 3 plus 2 root 3 is 4 root 3 so this can be written as 4 plus 4 root 3 4 means 4 into 1 4 root 3 means 4 into root 3 taking 4 outside we can write this as 4 into 1 plus root 3 that is the area of this trapezium is 4 into 1 plus root 3 centimeter square now if you need the approximate value you can give the value of root 3 here next problem calculate the perimeter and area of the triangle in the picture at first let us take an equilateral triangle with sides 4 centimeters then all the three sides are 4 centimeters this side is also 4 centimeters now what is the angle of an equilateral triangle we know all the three angles are 60 degree therefore this angle is 60 degree this is also 60 degree and this angle is also 60 degree now let me draw a perpendicular from this vertex to the opposite side like this then it bisect this angle and bisect this side that means this angle is 30 degree and this angle is also equal to 30 degree since this side is 4 centimeters this is 2 centimeters and this is also 2 centimeters now look at this triangle it is a right angle triangle since this angle is 90 degree and we know the hypotenuse and base let us find the altitude now we know altitude is equal to root of hypotenuse square minus base square therefore altitude is equal to root of 4 square minus 2 square 4 square is 16 and 2 square is 4 so this can be written as root of 16 minus 4 16 minus 4 is 12 so this can be written as root of 12 and we have seen that root of 12 can be written as 2 into root 3 or 2 root 3 that means this length is 2 root 3 centimeters now look at this right angle triangle it is a triangle with angles 30 degree 60 degree and 90 degree and if the hypotenuse is 4 centimeters then the other sides are 2 centimeters and 2 root 3 centimeters now let us look at our problem let me give a name for this triangle let it be abc draw a perpendicular from this vertex to the side ac let it meet at p then angle p is 90 degree since angle a is 60 degree this angle is 30 degree therefore this is a triangle with angles 30 degree 60 degree 90 degree and the hypotenuse is 4 centimeters we have seen that in a triangle with angles 30 degree 60 degree 90 degree if the hypotenuse is 4 centimeters then the other sides are 2 centimeters and 2 root 3 centimeters the smallest side of this triangle is opposite to the smallest angle 30 degree therefore this is 2 centimeters and this is 2 root 3 centimeters now the total angle at b is 75 degree since this angle is 30 degree the other angle is 45 degree we know this angle is 90 degree and since the sum of all the three angles in this triangle is 180 degree this angle is also equal to 45 degree these two angles are equal that means this is an isosceles triangle and therefore the sides opposite to them are equal that is these two sides are equal since this side is 2 root 3 centimeters pc is also equal to 2 root 3 centimeters now look at triangle bpc we have got the base and altitude let us find the hypotenuse we know hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus altitude square therefore bc square equal to bp square plus pc square bp is 2 root 3 and pc is also 2 root 3 therefore this can be written as 2 root 3 square plus 2 root 3 square to find the square of 2 root 3 we have to find the square of 2 and square of root 3 square of 2 is 2 square and square of root 3 is root 3 square 
2 square is 4 and root 3 square is 3. So this can be written as 4 into 3 or 12. So this can be written as 12 plus 12 and 12 plus 12 is 24. BC square is equal to 24. Therefore BC equal to root of 24. 24 equal to 4 into 6. So this can be written as root of 4 into 6. And that is equal to root 4 into root 6. Root 4 is 2. Therefore this can be written as 2 into root 6 or 2 root 6. That means the length of BC is 2 root 6 centimeters. Now we have got all the three sides of this triangle. Let us find the perimeter. Perimeter equal to AB plus BC plus CA or 4 plus 2 root 6 plus what is this length 2 plus 2 root 3 perimeter equal to 4 plus 2 plus 2 root 3 plus 2 root 6 4 plus 2 is 6 so this can be written as 6 plus 2 root 3 plus 2 root 6 6 is 2 into 3 2 root 3 is 2 into root 3 2 root 6 is 2 into root 6 so 2 is a common factor, taking 2 outside we can write it as 2 into 3 plus root 3 plus root 6 centimeter. That is the perimeter of this triangle is 2 into 3 plus root 3 plus root 6 centimeters. Now we have to find the area of this triangle. We know area of a triangle is half bh. b is a side and h is the height to that side. Let us take this side as b, then this is h. What is the length of this side AC? 2 plus 2 root 3 and H is 2 root 3. Replacing the values we get half into 2 plus 2 root 3 into 2 root 3. Now look at 2 plus 2 root 3. 2 is a common factor. So it can be written as 2 into 1 plus root 3. So this can be written as half into 2 into 1 plus root 3 into 2 root 3. Half into 2 is 1. So this is 1 plus root 3 into 2 root 3 or 2 root 3 into 1 plus root 3. That means the area of this triangle is 2 root 3 into 1 plus root 3 square centimeters. Today we have done some problems on page 57 and 58. Now there is a homework. From the pairs of numbers given below, pick out those whose product is natural number or a fraction root 3 into root 12, root 3 into root 1.2, root 5 into root 8, root of 0.5 into root 8, root of 7.5 into root of 3, 1 by 3. We will discuss the remaining part in the next video. Till then, bye.